evening. This is Paul Flintlocker for those of you that follow on Twitter or on Indiana Sportsman. Uh, and like a lot of you, I'm getting ready for waterfowl season. Tonight, my project is to repaint a couple of decoys. Uh, I'm going to repaint this old Flambeau field shell back into a Canadian goose. Um, I painted a white last fall because the fish and wildlife area that I was hunting had a lot of swans. And so it provided me with a confidence decoy that helped set the birds at ease and set me apart from all the other guys hunting this busy public area. And it worked out really good. But with the early goose coming on here in Indiana, I needed to be a Canada again. So I'm going to show you how I do this, the few little things I do. Uh, it won't take but a few minutes, and I think you'll like the way it turns out. And when we're done, it'll look just like it did when it was new. All right, besides our decoy, this is what we're going to need tonight. Uh, we're going to use a can of Krylon Camouflage Khaki. Now, this stuff has the fusion technology, so chemically it bonds really well with plastics. And if nothing else, it makes a good primer because it'll stick to the plastic. Won't make it not ever fall off, but it won't just flake off like some paints do. So we have the khaki. We're going to need a can of the camouflage brown. We're going to use just a little bit of a flat white paint and we're going to use just a little bit of a flat black. So those are the only four things you have to have to make this project go. Alright, first things first, I've got the head pulled off that I've got hanging here in my tree so it won't get all cruddy after I'm done painting it. I'm just going to give it a good all over coat of black. Okay, the next step is to take our khaki and we're going to give it a good coat all over the whole bird. Khaki layer's dried now. It doesn't take very long, just a few minutes. So it's time to put on our brown. And we're going to use our brown to color the back and the sides. And also, the technique we're going to use is going to leave some of these edges unpainted. And the khaki will show through. And that will give us some definition and some, some color contrast uh, that this decoy didn't have when it was new. Uh, the front, the breast area, is going to remain khaki, so we don't want to get any paint on that. We're going to work from the wings back. Okay, we're going to do the back and the top of the wings just a little bit darker than the flanks. And that looks good. Alright, all that's left to do on our body is to add a little detail on the rear end. So we're going to take our white paint 
and we're going to color in the rump. take our black paint, color the tail. And there we go, we let her dry out. Okay, the last thing we have to do is to detail out the head. And I'm going to use a little bit of Kills Primer. I use that because it's really bright white and it'll stay liquid a little longer for me to uh, be able to brush it on. I'll get a puddle of it in my paper plate here and we'll paint in the cheek patches. So there we have it. Three or four minutes worth of our time, a couple dollars worth of spray paint. We've got a brand new Canada Goose Decoy ready to hunt this fall. It's simple projects like this that make waterfowling one of my favorite activities. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it helps you. And we'll see you next time.